Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Recently, the United States, together with the European Union, Japan, and South Korea, signed a semiconductor supply chain security declaration, which roughly states that Chinese companies are not allowed to use high-end EDA software. What is EDA? Simply put, it is PS software for chip design. Without it, let alone 5 nanometer chips, even a circuit diagram cannot be drawn. What's more ruthless is that the details of the new regulations have been exposed. All tools below 5 nanometers are banned. Does this mean that Huawei HiSilicon wants to design an AI chip? No way. American engineers are not allowed to help China, and even remote guidance is illegal. Japan and South Korea also followed up. Samsung stopped supplying design templates, and Tokyo Electronics refused to provide testing equipment. As a result, domestic chip manufacturers began to complain. A GPU company broke the news. The design cycle was delayed from 1.5 years to 3 years, and it cost an extra 200 million. SMIC is even worse, with the 5 nanometer process stuck in midair, and the lithography machine has no drawings to use. Although China is restricted now, China will not admit defeat. EDA companies across the country sold 1.4 billion last year. Although it only accounts for 10% of the market, it has three hidden killers. The first is Huada Jution, 37% of the world's screen chip designs use its tools, and BOE's 8K screen relies entirely on it. The second is Huawei's secret move, secretly working with SMIC on photonic chip EDA, directly bypassing the silicon-based restrictions. Finally, the quantum track surprise origin quantum's Kuanyuan tool can design quantum chips. Americans don't have this thing, and they haven't studied it yet. But to be honest, the shortcomings are also obvious. 90% of digital chip design tools are imported, and high-end verification platforms are even more monopolized by Synopsis. Just like netizens complained, we are now like challenging Swiss army knives with utility knives. Faced with severe challenges, the country is really anxious this time, directly investing 50 billion to build an EDA special fund, and also releasing three big moves. The first is to use the national system to engage in group battles, Beijing to develop algorithms, Shanghai to attack digital tools, and Shenzhen to play AI verification. The linkage of the three places is comparable to the three major battles in the chip industry. The second is to break the monopoly of the open source ecosystem. Huawei has opened up the Kirin chip database and now designs 28 nanometers chips with the help of the RISV alliance. The cost is cut in half. The third is the genius plan to poach talents. Huawei offers a salary of 1 million yuan a year to recruit EDA algorithm experts. Universities have added 3,000 professional quotas. This wave is going to poach all American engineers. The best operation depends on the enterprise 
Alibaba Cloud has developed a designed as a service platform using cloud computing to increase EDA efficiency by seven times. BYD has customized automotive grade tools with Huada Jutian and the progress bar of smart driving chips is directly full. The 2028 decisive battle, where will the winner be? The industry has set a life and death line. 14 nanometers full process tools must be completed by 2028. What is the current situation? Huada Jutian has released explosive news. 28 nanometers simulation tools passed SMIC certification nine months ahead of schedule, and Huawei has actually created a 5 nanometers AI chip prototype using domestic EDA. The final victory or defeat was also concentrated in three major areas. The first is AI plus EDA. Tencent moved the algorithm of AI painting to automatically generate circuit diagrams, and the workload of engineers was directly halved. The second is automotive chips. Weili and Xiaopeng collectively customized tools to break NVIDIA's hegemony of autonomous driving. The third is reverse output. ASEAN countries rush to buy China's 28 nanometers EDA. Malaysian chip manufacturers said that it was better and cheaper than European and American tools. Foreign media evaluations were polarized. The economists said sourly that China wants to split the semiconductor ecosystem, but Nikkei honestly admitted. Wada Jutian has shaken the throne of synopsis. This EDA war is more exciting than Holman's breakthrough. Back then, Google cut off supply and forced Hongmeng out. Now the West is banning EDA. Maybe it can really give birth to the Chinese version of cheap design Android. Look at the return of the Kirin Chip King after Huawei was sanctioned. This time, the whole country will make efforts to overcome difficulties. It is definitely possible to create independent EDA in 2028. With the experience of Huawei's Hongmeng and Kirin chips, I believe China can also win this battle. What do you think about this?